Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about how to export an ODB++ file from uh, the Cadence PCB tools. So ODB++ is an industry standard export uh, used for PCB fabrication, assembly and test. Um, so there's three main options here. You can either export an IPC2581 file, you can export an ODB++ file, or you can export the individual Gerber films and Netlist files and uh, Exelon drill files, pick and place data, etc. So you have a choice of what you can do from an export. Cadence PCB tool support all three. Uh, this video is just going to cover the uh, ODB++ one. So if we look under the export menu where there's an ODB++ inside. Um, so it's a separate install. It's provide, provided for by a third party. So you would need to um, go to do a, a Google search for ODB++ inside. If you actually try and export ODB++ inside without having it installed, you'll actually get a little uh, error message that pops up and it will give you a link to where you need to go and get the download from. Uh, once you've downloaded and installed that, when you click on the export ODB++ inside, uh, you get a default asking you if you want to ex extract the net impedance average. Um, a lot of people usually say no to this. Um, if you do say yes, the size of the file will increase uh, to quite a large export file. So uh, I'd usually say no to this kind of option. We then uh, start to run the tech file and then we get some options. So we get the, the install option. So where's the input and output path? What's the board file? What's the output path? What's the name of the file we're going to go and generate? Do you want to open it in the viewer when it's finished? And then you've got options if it's either an uncompressed file, which will generate like the folder and all the different files that are required or a tar file or the, the gzip file, tgz. Uh, you can remove things like net names and EDA data. So you can have options about what sort of our export information you're putting it in. Uh, if you actually go to a Windows File Explorer here, so in the installation folder, it's uh, it's Mentor Graphics, ODB++ inside, Cadence Allegro, and then the version number. You'll have the board to ODB help PDF, and this actually goes through uh, what all the different options are, what you can read, and, and gives you some useful information here. So it's worthwhile having a look through this PDF file as well. So once you've done that, you can then choose more options. I'd normally say yes in this scenario, depending on what you want to export, and then you can actually start to control um, what information you want to export in the ODB++ file. Um, one of the default ones I would say here is um, that a lot of people would use from a cadence point of view, especially if you're using filled silk screen shapes, is, is turn this uh, EDA cadence silk fill on, um, and then that would then export the, the, the silk file correctly. So we'll then click next. Uh, the ODB++ file is generated. And then uh, the viewer opens up and it allows you to kind of to view the data. So you've obviously got a components layer, solder paste, or sorry, silk screen, solder paste, solder mask, then all your individual layers of the board, and then the same on the bottom with your drill data as well. And you can obviously, you can toggle these and turn these layers on or do whatever you need to do. If we actually look at the job directory, and we go to the PCB job directory, just go sort the names, uh, sorry, sort by output file. There's the TGZ file. So this is the single file that you would then send to the PCB fabricator.